Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Molnar. I specialize in physical medicine and rehabilitation and have been with the Southern California Orthopedic Institute for over 20 years. EMG stands for electromyogram or electromyography. An actual EMG test consists of two tests. One is the actual EMG and the other is the NCV or nerve conduction velocity test. So the EMG is basically a very, very fine electrode about the same size as an acupuncture needle. It's inserted just under the skin in the muscle and the patient will then relax and contract the muscle and we can get a reading whether the nerve to that muscle has been injured or damaged. The nerve conduction velocity portion of the test uh, typically involves a very light electrical stimulus, just a little shock that will make the muscle twitch and we can then measure the speed that shock travels along a nerve and we can tell if that nerve is healthy or has been injured. EMG nerve conduction testing is done to better study uh, symptoms that are coming from nerves. For example, someone might have numbness and tingling in their hand and they may have a nerve entrapment such as carpal tunnel syndrome. So the EMG nerve conduction study is the gold standard, the best way to accurately assess and measure, determine the prognosis of that nerve entrapment. An ideal candidate to undergo EMG nerve conduction studies would be anybody with a nerve symptom. So that could indicate pain, numbness or tingling in any distribution of the body. For example, if someone had a pinched nerve in their neck and it was traveling down their arm, the ideal way to assess that, to get an accurate diagnosis, would be to perform the EMG nerve conduction study. Another reason would be to assess for nerve entrapment, such as carpal tunnel syndrome or any other pinched nerves throughout the body. The best way for a patient to prepare for an EMG nerve conduction study is number one, stay calm. It is not an excruciating or painful test. It can just be a little annoying when we, give, when we deliver the electrical shock and the pin sometimes can be a little uncomfortable. The other important factor in preparing for an EMG nerve conduction study test is to not apply any lotion or oils to the skin in the area where the testing will be done. That's just so that the surface electrodes that we put on the skin don't fall off. The other important aspect of EMG nerve conduction studies is that it is performed by a physician. That is part of my specialty and our training. Uh, the results, therefore, are interpreted by the doctor who's performing it. And typically, in my patients, I will go over the results of the study immediately afterwards so that the patient can go home and know what the findings were.